this little fall squirrel guy is getting ready to be painted today. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Karen Campbell and I teach mixed media tutorials and drawing lessons here on YouTube. So today I am starting with a little fall grouping of colors and to coordinate with those, I'm pulling out an old scrapbook that I have had. And the cool thing about using scrapbook paper for collage backgrounds in your mixed media paintings is that if you choose all the paper from the one book, it will pretty much always coordinate with one another. So it makes like picking color palettes really, really easy. And I thought the pink and the brown and the greens was like a cute feminine approach to doing a fall project. So I'm using matte medium to adhere the scrapbooking paper onto my canvas. I'm working on a 12 by 12 square with, of pre-stretched canvas. I do find it much easier to work with collage backgrounds on like a canvas panel or wood, but um, I really couldn't resist this cute little square today, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Just be care that when you are adhering paper to a pre-stretched canvas, you do have to spend quite a lot of time like maneuvering out the air bubbles and kind of passing your finger over some of the wrinkles to make sure everything is copacetic in the gluing department. I'm just taking a little squirt of white Lucas Crail Studio paint right now um, and just kind of evening out the center because that's where my little guy is going to go. And then when I have the paint all dry, I'm taking an orange Stabilo pencil and you can use any watercolor pencil for this step to draw in my outline. The reason I do watercolor pencil is that if I make a mistake, I can just take like a wet wipe or a wet paper towel and it will just wipe off of my canvas. Or oh, sometimes, like I'm doing now, I actually just don't even bother to erase and I just kind of put it down right as it goes. So now I'm taking my fall color selections, which are burnt umber, yellow ochre. Those are the two that you see right now. And then I'm just using a little bit of cadmium orange for the acorn and a little sap green for the grass, white and black. And those are the five, six colors, sorry, that I'm using for the entire project. So I'm using my Soft Creative Mark acrylic paint appropriate paintbrush here, and I'm just kind of dabbing it around. I'm sort of envisioning where the squirrel hair is going, the direction that it is growing in, and making these little like patty-like marks down on the canvas. If you notice, I'm not doing like really long strokes. I'm keeping them really, really short and I'm just like tapping the brush down onto the canvas. And that to me makes it look like a little furry effect, if you will. And then lately I've been having a really fun time playing with this fan brush. I've been sort of busting it out more and more and more over the past year. And <clears throat> Excuse me, it makes like a really cool fluffy tail effect. And I'm really just having fun and experimenting to see if it will work. And I think I think it really does actually. Um, I think I overworked the painting part of this uh, project a, a little while just because I was having so much fun and I was like didn't really want it to end that quickly. So I kind of just keep keep going. I'll I'll have back out the tail and the fur with that fan brush as well. But I'm alternating now to a smaller brush, doing the details, you do the little nose and you can do the little fingers with this little round brush. I like these Creative Mark brushes because they're not too stiff. Um, they, still, they still hold quite a bit of paint in there, but they're also not too soft where you can't um, have a definitive brush stroke and really work your acrylic paint. So they really, really are nice. And I have a link in the description box to all the supplies that I'm using today. It's very minimal supplies. It's a great way, it's a great mixed media project. So I'm adding a little white into the black there to make a reflection in that guy's cute little eye. Um, this is not terribly realistic project. <laughs> it's pretty whimsical. I'm just having my way with that fan brush and adding different colors. Um, but again, I'm staying with the same, same um, main colors for the body. Again, that burnt umber and the yellow ochre light. They're just great all around. So any combination is fine to play with here. I'm adding a little bit of white, getting a little carried away. 
and um, yeah, I decided to paint the edges while it was had all my paint out. I went really quickly, but I just brushed using my fan brush some grass um, up from the bottom to give that guy something that he's actually kind of standing in. And the green kind of goes along with the green that's in the scrap and paper. Now I'm putting a pretty thick layer of matte Mod Podge over the whole project because I had so many layers and some of my paint was starting to like peel up in places. So I really just wanted to flatten all of it and make a nice clean coat so it didn't doesn't take long to finish um, drying that with my hair dryer and then I'm gonna go into this project with my paint pens these are made by Faber-Castell and they come in a huge assortment of colors I've been slowly collecting them over the years from my local Jerry's Artorama I buy them individually and so I have pretty much all the colors I think in the rainbow and then some so I kind of got really swept up into doodling towards the end of this project and I just had a really good time with it um <laughs> so yeah you have two ways that you can use these markers over the slick Mod Podge surface you can either make your marks and leave them there to dry or if you don't leave them you can actually use your finger or blending tool and blend them out kind of like paint so I'm doing really a combination of the two in this project. You can see very clearly the white definitive marks that I did not blend. And then you can see some of the other colors like the orange I actually blended quite a bit using my finger. And either way, if you're having fun and you wanna try it, just, yeah, my full blessing, my full support, just go for it. I get really addicted at this part just to playing with these markers and you can see in all of my YouTube videos for mixed media I pretty much always have these out at the end it's just a great way to do details I don't like doing details with my brushes just because it's like painstaking work and I find it really liberating to use these little markers to get my details done and they correspond great with all of the Lucas Krill studio paints so it's kind of like a little match made in heaven had to add the cute little nom nom here in the corner because he's just really cute and he's munching for fall so I'm putting a playlist here to um, my other whimsical mixed media projects here on YouTube. So if you want to check some more of those projects out, feel free. I'll see you again next Friday. Thanks.